Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan Share here with another DEX3 tutorial video. This video is put together to demonstrate how to set hot cue points and cues along the track. A cue point is just that. It's a position along the track. You set a marker to instantly play from, trigger, or jump around to. Uh, you can set multiple cue points along the track. We have eight predefined cue points, although depending on what skin you can use, you can certainly set more than eight cues. Uh, but again, cues are helpful if you want to you know, jump to a position of the song to play from. You know, if you're beat mixing, a lot of times, obviously, you're not going to be beat mixing from the beginning of the track. Uh, you'll blend at a mixable part, and sometimes that's, uh, you know, anywhere within the track's timeline. Um, so as you can see in the decks, in, in Dex 3, in the default skin, below the timeline waveform here, you have 1 through 8. Those represent the cue positions you can set on any given deck or any given track in Dex 3. So if you're using a keyboard and mouse, and I know some customers still do that, um, it's as simple as loading your track you want to set a cue on, hitting play. While the track is playing, all you have to do is click one of these buttons, and that just set a cue point. That is a hot cue. So it instantly sets the cue on the position you set the button on. You'll actually see in the timeline waveform here, below the deck, a cue marker indicating which cue you've set and it kind of flags the position along the track. So if I click the one again, because that's where I set my cue, it'll trigger it. So you can set multiple cues, much in the same way. I find it much easier to set cue points and hot cues with a DJ controller than a, a, a mouse, but you get the point here. And that's all there is to it. So you can set up to eight cues on the track, you'll see your flags, and you can jump in between them. If you want to clear a cue point with the, uh, using a keyboard and mouse, simply right-click on the cue position. You'll see it removes the flags. Flags are gone, cues are gone. So just right-click on the actual button itself below the deck, and that will clear the cue you've set. Now that's with a keyboard and mouse. Obviously, most customers are likely using a controller. So, in this instance, I've got the Denon MC6000 MK2 here. And it works the same way. On most controllers, you have dedicated cue points or pads that are mapped to the cue point functions. And that's all there is to it. So you just hit the Q button once on the controller to set the Q marker. That way, just like that. And every time you click the button again, it'll trigger it. And that's all there is to it. They trigger immediately. Uh, at the position you've set it on. And most controllers do have a clear cue function. On the MC6000, it's just hitting the shift button. Uh, it'll clear the last cue point you set. And that's all there is to it. Obviously, it's really handy if you want to set positions along the track to instantly jump and play from. If you're beat mixing, you know, you set that cue marker early in the track where your first downbeat is. So it makes it easier to come in right on beat. And those cue positions are stored permanently within the database file of Dex3. So every time you load the song, the cue points will be there ready to use. Hope that helps. Better understand how to use hot cues in Dex3. Keep checking back. If you have questions, leave them in the comment sections below. Thanks.